the world stands in shock at the brutality that was inflicted upon water protectors on October 27th in North Dakota. The world also stands in awe at the courage, selflessness, and dedication of water protectors on this day. We have a choice now to allow this truly seismic event to render us incapacitated and paralyzed with shock and fear, or we can utilize this episode to catalyze a motivation inside of our hearts to act and to pray in a loving and peaceful way. There is a lot of work to be done before we can look our children in the eyes and tell them that we tried our very best to stop this pipeline in a way that was sacred, prayerful, nonviolent, and loving. However, we must not only act, but remember the force that propelled this movement to its current state, and that is the force of prayer. And this is the force that allows us to bring in the ocean of resources from the spiritual world into this world to help us achieve the impossible. So please, October 30th, join the International Vigil for Standing Rock and let's create a global container around our brothers and sisters on the ground so that they may heal from the very traumatic experiences that they suffered yesterday. Let us also pray for our brothers and sisters in uniform who inflicted pain on many of our water protectors because they are of our human family as well and they experienced the trauma of harming another human being yesterday and they need prayers too. So thank you for taking the time to watch this and for taking the time to participate in the force that brought this movement to where it is today. And that is the force of love, the force of prayer, the force of forgiveness, the force of courage, and the force of truth. Thank you for joining this nonviolent prayer for the healing of our brothers and sisters from the trauma they experienced and for the healing of all our relations.